In the Bible, we find passages that mention some foods of Jesus' time. The word refers, for example, to fruit trees such as the olive tree. At the table with his disciples at Emmaus, the Lord broke the bread. The evangelists narrate the miracles of the multiplication of this food. In addition to bread, fish, lamb and many other foods were part of the diet of the time and had beneficial effects on health. In Jesus' time, certainly as in any time and culture, Jesus used or dealt with the food that was available depending on the geography and the climate. This nutritionist from the city of Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus, explains the great health benefits of some of the foods mentioned in the Bible. Fish um, are very essential because, first of all, they are rich in the omega-3. Omega-3 is very, very essential for our cardiovascular system. So it helps in preventing heart diseases. Moreover, omega-3 are very good for our eye health. So it's really essential too. Um, including the benefits of it containing vitamin D. For example, salmon, it's rich in vitamin D. And vitamin D is essential for our bone growth and for our bone health. So uh, it's really good. Moreover, it's rich in proteins and proteins are good for strengthening and building muscles. And um, last, it's really rich in selenium, which is uh, very good for our immune system. And the fish were also used by Christ in some passages of the sacred scripture. We have the multiplication of loaves and fishes, or the episode in which the risen Lord eats fish and bread with his apostles. As for um, the olives, well, olives, first of all, they're really low in calories, so that's a really good benefit of it. Second, it's rich in vitamin E, which is an antioxidant, so they're really good. Moreover, olives, they have very, uh, a very essential thing, is that they have the good fats, which is called the monounsaturated fats. Those monounsaturated fats, they're good because they raise our good cholesterol. Moreover, we can make from the olives olive oil, which, uh, and this is how we can get more monounsaturated uh, fats in our food. One very essential thing is they have something called polyphenols. Polyphenols are very essential for the brain health. We are here in the Mediterranean region, the region of origin of the olive tree, whose fruit is the olive from which the oil is made. We know that olive trees are trees with great meaning, of great importance also for the people who live in this region, as it certainly was for Jesus and for the people of his time. Bread is beneficial when it's made out of whole grains. What do we mean with whole grains? Whole grains could be something whole wheat, or it could be made out of oats, like the banana bread we're making. That makes it beneficial because whole grains uh, give the feeling of satiety because they're full of fiber and fiber um, gives satiety and lowers hunger. And when you, when you have satiety, it means lower obesity because you won't need to consume more food. And lower obesity means lower uh, the, we lower the risk of having type 2 diabetes because obesity is the risk factor for type 2 diabetes, so it's very essential. Here in the Middle East, bread is still the foundation of our diet, and it is what sustains Christ. For he said, I am the living bread descended from heaven. He who eats this bread will live forever. He makes this parallel with the life that the material bread gives to the human being and the life that this bread, which is Christ himself, will give us.